So let's dive deep into the queries again. So if you want to get more details about the queries, um, so this is the website that you should check that provide more information. So first, uh, the find. So uh, the syntax is that so everything should be within a curly bracket. So it still has a, um, it a syntax from a JavaScript. Uh, so to find some, um, to find out the uh, the document that met specific conditions, so equality conditions, the syntax is that first you need to tell the field, and next followed by colon, and also you need to tell okay, so what are the values? So for example, here we see language equals English, and then all the retained document that their language should must be English. So if your language is, let's say, Chinese, uh, it will not be retained. OK, so that is the equality condition. Uh, you can also specify the more conditions uh, for the values. Uh, so here there are a lot of operators. Um, and first, the syntax for those other condition operators is that you tell the field first. And next, you put the operator and also value within another curly bracket, OK? Um, <clears throat> within another curly bracket. So uh, for example, here, you want to make query about the favorite key. So you put that into this curly bracket and colon. And also you put the operator and also the value within another curly bracket. OK, so that's your syntax. And those are the most common operators, and there are more operators which you should always check their uh, website. So, for example, you have equal operator, which is equivalent to this one, I would say. So, where you can define specific value. Great operator, so greater than a specific value. So, for example, in this example, we are looking for the tweets where the favorite count is greater than one. Okay, it's greater than one. Or you can also define great or equal. So JTE stands for great or equal. In, so that means any values within a specific array. Less or less than. NE stands for not equal to a specific value. So for example, here, you can also define, OK, I want to find out the trees where coordinates is not known. OK, so where the coordinates is not known. Um, and also you can also specify none of the values are specified in every array. And also you can see that whether or not um, document have that specific field or the key by using this exist operator. Okay, again, more details you can check um, this website. So let's just try some very simple examples. Okay, so let's go back to campus. And you can see here filter. So we already tried language and you can uh, you can see in my case, um, uh, let's say without the filter, if you just try to find, you can see I have more than 3,800 tweets. Uh, however, if I do use uh, the language equals English, and if I find, and you can see that uh, I have 1,000 and also 700 tweets. So that means half of tweets that the language are not in English. OK. Um, and next, let's see that. Let's try the favorite count. So OK. So if you look at the tweets, you can see that um, some tweets, we, we have the favorite count k in the tweet. So some tweets may re receive favorites, and some tweets may not. OK, so let's try that one. So let's type favorite count and also it's very nice that mongodb will automatically complete the key colon and in this case we are going to try the greater so dollar jt okay so that stands for greater colon so we want to see the tweet that is great that has favorite that more than one and that's field and you can see only 100 tweets 106 tweets have that um, that have more than one favorite. So you can see this tweet has favorite two, and this tweet has also has favorite two. Okay. 
And let's also try the coordinates. And you can see that we do have a coordinate k, and many tweets that I would say most of tweets that they don't contain coordinates. But let's see uh, if we do want to find out some tweets. Okay, that contain coordinate. So let's say coordinates colon another curly bracket, and we are using not equal to colon, and we are saying not equal to noun. Noun is a special value type, so you don't need a quotation mark. Now, uh, okay, let's find. Okay, we see that in my collection, I do have five tweets that do contain coordinates. So if I expand, you can see those are the points. Okay, uh, those are latitude and longitude. And this one, latitude and longitude. Okay. Another thing that I want to emphasize is that now I'm querying with my lab 10 tweets. So when you are querying with your data, you may have different results. That is totally fine because we collect tweets at different time with different APIs. Um, OK, so that's why that we have different results. So that is totally normal. OK. And you can pause the video here and also you can try to make other the other queries. Uh, see if you are interested in something that uh, you want to look uh, from the tweets. Okay, uh, so now let's dive deep into the uh, more about queries. So if you want to specify the and and also all operators, uh, so the syntax is pretty simple. So you just put two queries into a list, so a square bracket, and you can see if it's and, you can use dollar and, if that's all, you can use dollar all. Okay, and the reason the return result will be that if and, so that means both queries should be met. If all, you just need either one of those queries can be met. Uh, you can also do a text search. So text search requires that you should have to define a text index first, and next you can use dollar text and also dollar search. And you can define the keywords that you want to query in your, um, in, from your data set. And there are also other parameters that are, are available. For example, you can define the language, and you can define whether or not case sensitive, and also the other more parameters. Again, for more details, you should check these tutorials online. OK, so now let's look at our um, data. So let's say first uh, we have uh, our first query, let's say coordinates, is not now. Okay, and we put that into a curly bracket. Okay, so that is our first query. And you can see we do have five. Uh, let's also define our second query, which we say the favorite count is great than one. Okay, so now we have two queries and we put that one into a curly uh, square bracket, which is a list. And here, let's say we want dollar and. Okay, so we want to say that the tweets that have coordinates and also have more than one favorite. Let's say find and that's zero. So no one that meet both queries. So what if we change that one to all? OK, so now we can see we have more than 100 tweets that meet these queries. So that means they have favorite count greater than two, greater than one. All they have coordinates. OK, and so you can check that one later. Uh, next, let's say we want to do a text search. So to do a text search, you should have a text index that created. So we do have a text index that created. When we uh, define it, uh, when we collect the tweets from uh, in the in Python, so now let's do the text search. So dollar text, and we want to search for. So here you can define any keywords. Remember, we collected tweets talking about COVID nineteen. So if we do this one, we are return a lot of tweets. Okay, we are return a lot of tweets. So let's say that among those tweets, 
does any of the tweets talk about election? Yes, so there are 18 tweets that they are talking about elections. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's move on. So suppose that we know that the document can be nested. So if you want query the nested document, you just simply put uh, the parent field dot the child field together as one field. Okay, so for example, here we want a query that the police type, which is a child key of the police, and you simply put place dot police type. Remember, in that case, you do need the quotation mark for both uh, for the keys and also for the values. So that is how we can um, query on the nested field. And if the nested field is an array or the list, so you can query that whether or not that key contains a specific values in that list. Uh, so for example, we do have a list that has hashtags. Hashtag is a, a set of list, and we see that for the hashtags, does that text key contain a value of, in this case, GMU, and it will retain all the tweets that if they have hashtags and also at least one hashtag where the text key equals GMU. Uh, you can also query based on the size um, of the uh, area of the list. So for example, uh, we can query like, okay, so for the hashtags, so we want to see that what's, uh, all the tweets that contain at, uh, two hashtags. So we can use a size key. Okay, uh, so Again, so let's look at the the tweets. So if you check the um, the place in this case, the place is now. Um, let's find out the place. Okay. Um, okay. In my case, all the place is now. Okay. So let's let's just do the query first. So let's say we want to see place uh, type. Okay. You can see that um, by default, the MongoDB give you place type uh, a quotation mark because it is a nested key. And we want to see the place type that is city. Let's. OK, so now you can see we do have 27 tweets in my case that the place, place type is city. So let's see the first one. OK, and the place type is city. And for the second one, OK, you can see the place type is city. So that is that how we can make queries for the nested keys. Uh, you can pause the video here and also you can try the other nested key queries. Uh, next, let's say we want to make queries about the hashtags. So remember that hashtags belong to the entities. Uh, let's see if I can find out entities and hashtags. And hashtag is a list. In this case, this tweet does not have any hashtags. See if I'm lucky to find out. OK, so for this hashtag, it has three. For this tweet, it has three hashtags, COVID, uh, do not kill, and also Christine. OK, so let's see if we want to find out the the tweets that contain at, at least COVID, so which is the nasty key of the hashtag. So how can we do that? So we can simply, uh, it is entities. OK, entities, hashtags, and also text. And let's say we want to find out tweets that contain COVID. OK, so it will not be surprised that we have, I'd kind of surprised that only four tweets contain COVID. OK, so you can see that this hashtag, at least one, Hashtag contains COVID. Okay. And if you want to see COVID 19, and I guess that will, we will have more tweets. Yes, 100 tweets will contain hashtag that is COVID 19. Okay. And if you want to see the size of the hashtag, so that is uh, for the hashtag key. Okay. And we want to see that we want to see the, the dollar size equals two. So that means you contain two hashtags. And let's run it. Okay, so now you can see this one contain two hashtags. 
And this one also contains two hashtags. And we have oh, more than 500 tweets that contain two hashtags. And if you try three, okay, 200 tweets that contain three hashtags. And let's say if we try four, okay, only 100, only 100 tweets contain uh, four hashtags. Okay, and finally, I want to introduce the query bars. So the query bar is where you can um, you can do modify your queries um, with more controls. For example, the, the filter is where you just use those queries that we, we just talked about. Uh, you can also use project, which just allow you to filter out the fields so that if you define the field as one, so that field will be retained. If you define that field as zero, so that field will be excluded. You can also use the sort key so that we will sort um, uh, the result based on the order of the written document. So one indicate uh, ascending, negative one indicate descending. Okay, and also you can define the others. Okay, so here this is example. So here we are looking for the tweets that talking about GMU, and in our output we just want to see the text and our favorite count. We also want to sort the tweets that uh, depending on with a favorite count, we're using a descending order, and also we want just the top one tweet. Okay, so that is limit by one. Okay, so let's try it. So now if you see options, if you expand, you will see all those um, options. So let's say we want to find out, um, I see, uh, Coordinate, uh, no, let, let's just do the text search, okay. Text dollar search. Let's see if anyone is talking about election. Okay, and here I missed a colon. Okay, so now you can see all the fields are being returned. So here, if I just want to see the uh, text and you can see only text being returned and uh, let's say I want to see the text and also favorite account okay you can see favorite account also being returned and uh, let's see here I want to sort by favorite account and uh, let's use descending Okay, and you can see the first one is the uh, tweet that contains election and also has the highest favorite, favorite count, which is one. And let's limit, I just want to see the top one. Okay, so here is a result.